by hope and courage we stopped draining, but we can put back also more. That's where the natural disciplined life comes in. We call it yogic. Yoga is not something peculiar, it's just to lead a disciplined life to do what is necessary to put back what we lost. All our yoga postures, they call asanas, they can tune our system, they can squeeze out the blockages, clear the way for putting in more prana. That's why after the asana, the pranayama is practiced. I have total faith in pranayama. Prana is simply you are, you can make, uh, take many kind of medicines. What is ACT and this and that? There are a lot of things come now, is it not? Huh? Okay, that's all right. Even that you have to find some lecithin, some egg yolk and this and that and mix it and. Huh? Prana, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is to take a deep breath in. It's free. No $238 for a, a capsule. Huh? No. The cheapest and the best. Every kind of non vegetarian animal food, you have to kill the animal. And you think the animal loves us? Have you ever seen a goat coming in, take my thigh, make a soup out of it, I'm glad to give it to you? He <laughs> 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 huh? had to hold it, cut it, while it shouts, huh? Huh? kill it. So what kind of attitude the goat will have until it loses the life? Look at this demon. Let him go to hell. Won't that say that? It's a cursed food. And that's what goes into our system. And the food curses us. Food should be a love offering to us. You should come joyfully, happily. Come on, take it. If you go to a, an apple tree, and try to pull a fruit. If it is raw, the mother tree seems to say, hey, don't pull it now. Hmm? I'm not yet ready to give you. Hmm? Come tomorrow, the day after. Hmm? And if you still try to pull it, you hurt the tree, it bleeds. Hmm? Whereas wait for two days, the color changes, the smell changes, and by mere touching it comes to your hand. Hmm? And if you don't go in time, one day late, by any chance you got delayed and you go the next day, you look for the fruit, you don't see the fruit there. Mom, what happened to the fruit? Son, you didn't come yesterday, so I didn't bother to even give you the trouble of reaching it and it's down there, take it. <laughs> That's what you call love offering. Huh? So everything that we spend, that we utilize in our life should come in a gentle, nice, loving, holy way. Not contaminated, not filled with hatred, anger, fear. That is one of the reasons. He said, change the diet right away. In fact, we are successfully treating heart patients and cancer patients, simply by changing their diet, giving them a few yoga postures and deep breathing, which we call pranayama. Just these three and have that hope. Remember that there is a higher force. I'm linking myself to that. That will send me plenty of energy. Let me do the right thing. God helps those who help themselves. We do our part, God will do his part. In 
more important one. Sometimes when people, in the beginning, now it's all slowly changing. When we come here and sit and chant, we say, what kind of howling is that? Uh. <laughs> chanting, chanting, what is chanting? They don't even understand. Is it, are they trying to convert us to be Hindus? <laughs> all kinds of suspicions come. Because they don't really understand what is the purpose behind, what is the scientific reason behind. This chanting is not just praying to some God. No. You don't have to have faith in God at all. Because your chanting itself produces certain vibrations, sound vibrations. And if you chant the right words, you produce the right vibrations. And remember, Sound vibrations can do great things to us. Haven't you heard or seen watches and jewels are cleaned with sound vibrations? Ultrasonic? Hmm? What does it mean? Sound can clean up things. Yes. It can do two things. It can clean and it can put in fresh energy. So that is another thing I would recommend. Chant any nice holy names, hmm? sacred names. If you don't even believe in a holy name, when I say holy, something building up, hmm? building block, hmm? good sounds, hmm? humming, just humming. Hmm? Om, even if Om belongs to Buddhists and Hindus, forget that. <laughs> it, we put labels, oh, that belongs to me, not yours. <laughs> Amen is mine, Om is yours. <laughs> we put <laughs> labels and we try to, <laughs> we have grabbed the land and put marks here, the, this is my land, that's your land. <laughs> we have even divided the sea, my sea, your sea, you see. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have even divided the sky, my sky, your flight should not go over me. As if he has paved it with nice tar, and if the plane flies over, he will scratch all the talls and make potholes there. <laughs> How little we have become. He wanted to grab everything and put it there, awaits. Even God is not escaped from that. Jesus, my name, or our, we follow Jesus, you follow Moses. And the Moses people, we don't like to say even Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus and Moses are condemned by the Krishna people. <laughs> Krishna is the only one. Another will say, Krishna, Jesus, Moses, Allah is the best. <laughs> Another will condemn everything and say, Supreme Brahm, Brahm. Uh, this kind of fight is going on and on and on and on. It's killed enough people. So let us not worry about all those people who try to grab things and put their label on it. Everything belongs to everybody, you know that. Everything belongs to everybody. Even the so-called Christians, when they say, we are Christians, you are different, they look up and say, our Heavenly Father, Father, singular. They haven't said fathers in the heaven. If there is only one Father, did the Father create only the Christians? Hmm. Huh? Who created the Buddhists, Hindus, or even the atheists? Hmm? Hmm? Is there a different father for the atheists then? No. There's only one father. Maybe it is his mistake. He created a bad boy, hmm? Hmm? a mischievous fellow. Hmm? Hmm? Or our children, all of them are 
wonderful, saintly, how many are mischievous? <laughs> Why not that father also? Maybe at that time he must have been thinking of something different. <laughs> and that vibration got into this guy and he became a mischievous fellow. He denies the father. But still his son, he also has a right to claim, is it not? The entire world belongs to us. The entire cosmos belongs to us. We are all proper legal inheritance, heirs to that. Nobody can just put a label and say, this is mine. It happened to be in your hands for your use. Okay, keep it. Call it as you wish until you use. Afterwards, it's not you wish. Nobody has ever taken anything with them when they went. Or nobody brought anything. Have you ever seen any baby coming out with a penny in the mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Later on, he may become a millionaire. <laughs> but then, how many millions he can take back with him? No. So, don't hesitate and miss all the nice things in the world hmm? that the God's gift, hmm? putting, oh, that belongs to them, I should not do this. Repeat any, any sound that can produce a lot of vibration. Hum, hum, let the whole body vibrate. You are producing a sound, ultrasonic sound in your own system. <coughs> Sit there and do it every day, at least morning, noon, evening, hmm? half hour, fifteen minutes. Hmm? Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Hmm? Shanti means peace. Hmm? It's everybody's. So that Sound vibration is very important. Hari Om, we chant Hari Om. Hari Om is a great chant. It really brings out all your energy, all your sound out. All the stocked, stored sound. The moment you say, ha, it gives a kick here at the very solar plexus. And it brings the sound out until you finish. Om, Hari, Om. Hmm? See, we have to attack this problem from various directions. It's not just one thing that created the problem, as I said earlier. So likewise, we have to use various approaches, spiritual approach, intellectual approach, hmm? approach through food, approach through thought, hmm? approach through society, approach to our environment. Even your room should be clean, pleasant, good vibrations. Have some incense every day in your room. It shouldn't look like a junkyard. <laughs> yeah, however sick you are, keep few things, keep it neat. It's pleasant for the sight also. All these things go to heal, remember. Mm -hmm. Healing is not just simply one thing done by somebody else. You have to do certain things to heal. Some, in some rooms you cannot even go in. It's all torn to pieces as if ransacked by somebody. Eh? <coughs> That's not a healthy thing. To even to look at, it won't produce good vibrations. That's why burn some incense, you will be in sense. <laughs> we have some good incense here. I'm plugging. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, laugh. Don't worry, don't don't feel I just put sprinkle a little humor here and there so that you can laugh. <laughs> that is another one I was about to tell you. <laughs> Laughter, the best remedy. You know Norman Cousin, his story? Yeah. Daily. 
Even if nobody else there, doesn't matter the others, your roommate or somebody else will think that you are crazy. Don't worry, simply stand in front of the wall and laugh. <laughs> True. That, that's what I want. Great boy. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. That's what I want. The hearty, happy, healthy laughter. Oh, yes, will make you much better. Feel better. True. Oh. Healthy mind. Yes. Make the mind healthy, happy. We are born with that happiness. We are born with ease. Maybe out of our uh, ignorance, we have done something wrong to disturb the ease. Now we call it diseased. Is it not? Diseased is nothing but disturbed ease. But the ease is still there. Eh? Otherwise, you cannot call this ease, because ease is still there, no? Eh? This is simply added to that, that's all. Eh? To get back to the ease, what should you do? Take the dis out. Eh? Dish it out. Eh? <laughs> 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 that, <laughs> Remember, that's my tonic. <laughs> Humor and laughter is my tonic. You know how old I am? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. But I am 47. <laughs> I always stand on the head. <laughs> yes, I still feel very young. If anybody wants to come and challenge me, for a I can throw you out. <laughs> a little worry. I don't know when I'm going to answer these questions, but much of the questions might be answered even in my talk. I'll just give you an end, a small story, a real story. 